So try this problem first, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so the first thing we do is add BCA2, right, and hydrogen to this triple bond, making it a double bond. So now since we have that, the H2O2 will get rid of the BCA2 and then replace it with a alcohol, right, the OH from the NaOH. And notice how the hydrogen goes away. Well, it doesn't really go away, right, because it's always implied. So going on, um, when you have a double bond next to an alcohol, it actually doesn't stay like this, right? Because after you add H+, plus, um, it would add right here, and so you have the positive charge right here, and the positive charge would form resonance with the oxygen. Notice how that the resonance is preferred, right? Because this product is preferred as the arrow suggests. So you'd have a positive charge on this uh, oxygen. So this one's preferred, so you take that product, and then another water, what it will do is get rid of the hydrogen, right? Because the positive charge is not stable on oxygen. So the water will come by, uh, take off the hydrogen, and the hydrogen's electrons will go to the oxygen, therefore creating a carbonyl. And in this case, it would be an aldehyde because this one, the, it has a hydrogen right here. So um, just to recap, what will happen is it will form a double bond, right, from the triple bond, and then H2O2 will get rid of the BCA2, it'll form an OH, and notice how this is trans, right? So it will form, you can go from a triple bond to a trans uh, double bond, right, alkene. Um, it will, after you add H+, it will undergo resonance to form this product, and this product will get attacked by a water, and therefore form your final product, which is a carbonyl. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.